age of seemingly endless digital, Contagious is unique in that we have a very successful hard copy physical entity magazine, eagerly uh, sought after, highly anticipated, and now NextY really reflects that principle to see and to be seen. Looking at work that has started to emerge is kind of fizzling and crackling around the fringes and very soon it will be in the mainstream so we tend to focus on stuff that's very effective, very creative and um, prove to people what's going on in their categories. We don't often get that much of an opportunity to get out, meet people face to face uh, who are part of the kind of contagious community. Brand's interface is a great sort of kind of litmus test for people to apply to everything because it's simply like before you do any of this stuff, before you use any of this exciting technology, just ask yourself, are we making this experience better for having our brand there? We really hope that attendees are going to leave with a renewed sense of how other people are adding value in, in the world and how they can then in turn apply those lessons to their brands. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, brand play. But when a brand gets involved, isn't there always some kind of higher purpose, ulterior motive? People think this is an important thing in their lives, they enjoy it, and they wish they could have more of it. That kind of feels a little bit like a brand opportunity. You know, we Netflix, we Zipcar, we can unsubscribe from our friends on Facebook as easily as we can unsubscribe from Spotify. And that's kind of changing the way we're thinking about commitment. You know, the proposition for consumers um, is that, you know, you, you unlock a universe of amazing stuff with your products and it, it sort of supercharges the experience of owning them by kind of digital augmentation and it helps you get more out of them. And in particular, the opportunity thing, which I think is really interesting for luxury brands when they're thinking about social. You know, what's a unique opportunity to kind of get people to engage? What's something special that we can kind of get them to do? The biggest conclusion that we came to was that London 2012 saw a real step change in Olympic marketing. How can we constantly try and help people get closer? How can we try and address those stumbling blocks that are stopping us helping people getting closer? Okay, and in breaking down those stumbling blocks, make your sponsorship an indispensable part of anything that you choose to map your brand to. We live in an internet-enabled world that's not only optimised to spread information, but it's optimised to fuel and to manifest good ideas. It's great to get um, loads of different people from the, from the industry, from different parts of the industry in, in the room. And, and uh, what I quite like about it is there's a lot of discussion. So it's, it's thrown over to the floor and uh, people can really have a, have a say. So that's really nice. Sometimes you can just get lost in what you need to do and in your objectives and, and just to go back and think actually it's about thinking about people first and the ideas that need to come around that. And I think it's interesting that there's, there's themes that are sort of overlapping and running through both of them so it's obviously incredibly well curated and you feel like, I mean I reported back to my agency last time and, and sort of had all manner of requests and clients wanting to sort of get involved and, and actually turned up to this session so that's, that's really good and it will allow me to build on that but also sort of it feel like a logical progression. I think just seeing examples from all over the world is, is great and inspiring.